Hi guys, today I'm doing a video for you on the Juju BB Sporty and my friend Sabrina kindly lent me this bag um, to try out and to do a packing video uh, so that everyone can see um, the Bee Sporty. Um, she really loves this bag so um, I tried it out and I'll now let you know what I think of it too. So the Bee Sporty is a backpack style bag. It has the backpack straps and it also comes with a messenger strap that hooks onto these D-rings. Um, it has a mommy pocket in the front here and another little zipper pocket here. It has a bottle pocket on each side and it has a slip pocket in the back that goes all the way down to the bottom and a cell phone pocket um, right here. And it also does come with a change pad. This is the Bee Light. Um, I won't be using a change pad. This is packed up for a three-year-old and um, so I'll go ahead and show you how I have it packed. So on the D-ring here she does have a cute little fob and this is from Fobs by Andrea. And then over in the bottle pockets on the side, these are zippered pockets and on this side I have a nine ounce swell bottle that fits perfectly into here. Um, now you can fit, this is a 17 ounce, the 17 ounce will fit in but as you can see it doesn't quite close, that's as far as it will go so you could put it in there um, and I don't think it would fall out so it just won't close all the way. And then over on this bottle pocket we have a Tommy Tippy uh, Sippy Straw Cup. And this is quite wide but it fits really easily into this pocket. And then over in the front here I have a little uh, bitty pod that's full of uh, the nose wipes. And this pocket is quite roomy. It depends on how much stuff you have in this bit will determine what you can fit in there. But you can see I can fit my whole hand in there so it, it's a fairly big pocket. And then over in the mummy pocket, that's how I have it packed up. It has a mesh pocket in the front here and then there is a zippered pocket at the back um, that goes all the way down to the bottom. I don't have anything in there. In the front mesh pocket here, I have a small uh, set piece in the blackout print and that just has charger stuff for my phone. And then in the main part of the mummy pocket, I have a be Rich Wallet in Queen of the Nile. Um, the Be Spendy does fit in here too. It's super easy to get them in and out. This is a good size pocket. <clears throat> and then over in the back, as you can see here, these are the backpack straps. Um, and these are actually very comfortable to wear. Uh, I didn't think they would be, and I noticed a lot of people have swapped them out for the BFF straps, but I wore this um, all morning and it did not bother me at all so these are actually very comfortable to wear so in the back here instead of the change pad I have a play pack case in space place I have it this is just a little iPhone 4 for my three-year-old some uh, alphabet games on there I'll just keep her busy and I just have a little pot of Play-Doh. She loves Play-Doh, so that usually keeps her quite busy too. So that's all I have in there. This pocket goes all the way down to the bottom. This is a very roomy pocket. And then we have the flap on the front with a magnetic closure. And then you're going to have the zipper right across the top here. So let's open that up. And this is how I have it packed inside. Not a very wide opening, but you can fit a lot in this bag. So I'll start off with what I have on the top. This is a blackout medium set piece. And I just have snacks for my three-year-old in there. And then right next to it, I have a DSS large set piece. Again, really cute fob on the front. And in here, this is just um, all stuff that I take from bag to bag. This is just all mommy stuff. I have makeup, uh, posh sticks, hairbrush, just that kind of stuff. I don't need to go through it all. Um, just the usual stuff in there. So now you can see a bit better into the bag. It has a zipper pocket across the back here. And then there is a mesh pocket in the back over here. And then there's two mesh pockets at the front of the bag. It's kind of hard to see inside but in this mesh uh, zipper pocket sorry at the back I have a small set piece and that's just my med kit 
And the mesh pocket over at the back here, I have a Y pouch. The, there's a small mesh pocket at the front. I don't know if you can see in there, but I just have a hand sanitizer. And on the other side, oh, I don't have anything. So that's all I have in there. And then right down at the bottom, I have a large set piece. And this is again is in the blackout. And this is just a change of clothes for my uh, three-year-old. And that's all I have in there. So that's all that's in the bag. I don't know if you can see it in there, but this bag does hold a lot. I could have fit a lot more into this bag. Um, the things I love about this bag, although I wouldn't say it's my favourite, I still do like the BRB. Um, this bag has different features and what I really like about it is the bottle pockets. Um, it's so easy to get stuff in and out. I have a classy and I find it really hard getting uh, bottles in and out of the B classy depending on how much you have in the bag and I have a hard time getting a nine ounce swell bottle in and out of the side pockets of the classy. So whether I'm not doing it right I have no idea but I always struggle with that so I really love the bottle pockets on this. Um, I love the mommy pocket on it because it is so roomy. You can fit a lot of stuff in here. Um, I didn't even have it fully packed up. And um, I do quite like the flap. I do like the flap on it. Um, I'm not so keen on the small opening. Uh, I would maybe have preferred it a bit wider, I don't know. But I do like the fact that you can fit so much in there. Like You can fit a lot of stuff in there. I think that... I could probably use it. I have five kids and I think I could probably use this with all five, maybe have to take a be light as well, but um, this does fit a lot of stuff. Um, and I love the fact that the backpack straps, and again, as I said earlier, they are super comfy and I love this back pocket here because it's the length of the bag and you can fit iPads and all kinds of stuff in there. So overall, I do like this bag style. Like I said, it's not my favorite, but I do love it. And I absolutely love it in this print, Kaiju City, because this is my favorite Toki print so far. So if you have any questions on this bag, please comment below. And thank you again to Sabrina for letting me uh, get the chance to um, review this bag. Thanks for watching.